good day. And I'm, I'm going to show you how the waterfall works. Now, I know a lot of you have already done this, and so you're already pros at it. But those, for those of you who haven't, um, it just takes um, a few pieces of, um, we, ours are already die cut. And um, you need um, this piece of paper. It's got score lines already on it. You're going to fold it along all these score lines. And then you don't um, accordion fold. You just fold it so that it works like a roll top desk. So this is the main piece to your project. We also have little arrows showing where the next piece goes. And you have this little tab that looks like this. And that will be adhered, matching up your arrows, that will be adhered to the bottom here. And for this kit, it all comes, we'll show you the kit here in a second, um, but we have two kits that actually have this all, it comes all die cut for you with instructions on put it, how to put it together. So you don't have to do all the scoring and stuff like that. It's actually in the kit and we'll show you that as well. Right, and if you actually get the kit and you put this together once, you'll find out that it is something that you could do on your own once you get all the instructions on how to do it. So this is a little mechanism that's, this is really important. You can't glue this down completely. All you're going to do is add some adhesive to both ends, and then you glue it on about five inches down from the top. And I put, um, I die cut a little square and a little hole on here. So later when you go to hook everything together, you have, and you can see where I drew the circle and I drew the square so that you um, know where the rest of your project goes. So now that you have this, okay, this is um, where all your little pages have go are going to go. And you see the hole and the square, that's going to be, we're gonna call that the bottom for now. Then you're gonna add adhesive between all the score lines so that when you add pages, you have something to glue them to. And you, now, <clears throat> here are all your pages. They're actually the same paper, but we turn some one way and some the other way. And I think I'll start here with this one. So this first one goes on. Actually, I'm gonna show you a little bit about um, adding some color. This is called Deep Sea, and this is using our powder puff chalk inks. See how pretty that just darkens up those little edges, and it really defines it from the rest of your project. You can put a little or a lot, um, and this one's called Deep Sea. It's one of our very popular ones. Nice, deep, dark color. So I probably won't, um, on this, show you on each one, but just to show you that you can add color, and it helps it a lot. So there's your first page. Here's your second page, right up next to the next score line, your third page, right up next to the next score line, fourth page. You can put these pages on in any order that you choose. You can put them all on exactly with the same pattern if you want, or you can make them go every other one like we're doing. So there you go, you have six pages. Now you're going to take, see where your pages are on this little piece that's kind of like a roll top desk. We're gonna take the piece that we added the tab to and it slides in behind this mechanism that we added to our background page in the very beginning. It's a little hard to see because it's same color, but it's the piece that we added adhesive on the left side, adhesive on the right, and we left it open in the back. Now we're going to, um, as you can see, there's a hole and a square, and I'm gonna make a mark here so you can see that. There's a hole there and a square here. And then also down here is your hole and your square. So all you're going to do now is add adhesive to this area. And then you're going to pull this flap here and match up these, the square and the hole here. And that's the only thing that is glued. So 
So see, once you get that glued down, and this is going to end up on the outside of your page protector. The little mechanism in the back, the little stripper paper in the back, will go onto your background, your actual background paper. But then this, in order to make it work, has to end up on the outside of your page protector. So what you'll end up doing is you will cut a slit in your page protector here and at the bottom of the little mechanism, two slits, and then you will slide this piece in behind your mechanism. And then as you can see, you have a cool waterfall. Isn't that cool? Okay, and